Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you like our content, please press like button, it really help us. And if you need video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. Liner is one of the most important part of magnetic flowmeter. So, I have decided to make one video on this topic. In today's video, I'm going to show how to select liner material of magnetic flowmeter for different applications. I divided this video in two parts. In first part of this video, I will cover four liner material, and second part of the video, I will cover rest of the four liner. First of all, let's learn what is liner. In electromagnetic flowmeter, Lining refers to applying resin or other alternative materials to inner walls of a detector's measurement tube or metal pipe. And it is used to detect very low electromotive force levels, and ensure corrosion and abrasion resistance to the fluids being measured. And the selection of liner material depends on the type of fluid to be measured. As of now, there are eight types of liner available in the market for magnetic flowmeter. First type is, perfluoroalkoxy. Second type is, polytetrafluoroethylene. Third type is, neoprene, which is also known as soft rubber. Fourth type is, ethylene propylenedene rubber. Fifth type is, nitrile butadiene rubber. Sixth type is, linotex, which is also known as natural soft rubber. Seventh type is, ebonite, which is also known as hard rubber. And last type is, ceramic, zirconium oxide, or aluminum oxide. First of all, let's learn about PFA liner, which is also known as perfluoroalkoxy liner. As you can see, PFA is a perfluoroalkoxy with excellent chemical resistance and high temperature resistance. PFA is molded directly in the flowmeter tube and is reinforced with a stainless steel tube resulting in an extremely good mechanical performance during temperature fluctuations and under vacuum pressure conditions. This is the one of reason that, the PFA liner is the perfect choice for applications within the chemical, food and beverage, and pulp and paper industries. In addition to this, PFA liner offers following features. First of all, PFA is highly resistant to chemicals. Secondly, PFA liner tolerates media temperatures of minus 20 Celsius to 150 Celsius. Last but not least, PFA liners are highly stable under vacuum pressure conditions. Second type of liner is PTFE or polytetrafluoroethylene. PTFE is a polytetrafluoroethylene, which is an extruded tube inserted in the flowmeter without bonding. The ends are beveled and form the flange face. PTFE is the most commonly used liner for the chemical and general process industries, where temperature-resistant materials with exceptional chemical properties are required. However, there is one drawback of PTFE liner. Which is, it can be adversely affected by exposure to vacuum pressure. In addition to this, PTFE liner offers following features. First of all, it has smooth surface. Secondly, PTFE liner has small risk of deposits. In addition to this, PTFE liner has best chemical resistance properties. Last but not least, it has high and low temperature capability. It can tolerate media temperatures from minus 20 Celsius to 180 Celsius. Third type of liner is neoprene, which is also known as soft rubber. Soft rubber is a versatile synthetic rubber, originally developed as an oil-resistant substitute for natural rubber. Soft rubber possesses a unique combination of properties, which has led to its use in thousands of applications in various water application environments. The soft rubber liner was the most commonly used liner for water and waste water applications as well as some chemical applications. Recently, due to new drinking water requirements and the risk of swelling in water, other rubber materials such as EPDM and ebonite have replaced soft rubber in many water applications. Soft rubber offers following features. Firstly, 
Soft rubber performs well in contact with oils, many chemicals and some solvents. Secondly, it is well suited to wastewater applications, where oil is present. In addition to this, it is good abrasion resistance properties. Lastly, due to compression set, the liner tolerates a maximum temperature of up to 70 Celsius. Fourth type of liner is, EPDM, which is also known as ethylene propylene dyeing rubber. EPDM rubber is an elastomer, which is characterized by a wide range of advantages, making it especially suitable for drinking water applications. And it is a hand-lined bonded liner with the stainless steel inner tube of the sensor as support. This liner has excellent properties for drinking water applications. EPDM liner offers following features. This liner has many country-specific drinking water approvals. In addition to this, this liner can be used for some chemicals, where PTFE or PFA is not required. Also, it can be used for some food and beverage applications with pipe sizes greater than 4 inch. Last but not least, EPDM liner can not to be used for wastewater applications, where hydrocarbons can be present. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. Please tell us your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box. And please like and share this video with your friends, if you think our content is informative for you and others.